rhythm and lead together. I think finger style helps a lot. It's understanding how like finger style, kind of like building a chord off finger style or playing a finger style. The finger style rhythm, I think, kind of gives you an edge to playing that lead and rhythm because you're already kind of doing it. I don't think playing lead and rhythm is a separate thing. Like, I don't like separate the to the from the rhythm. Something like that, like that's what you like hear from a lot of guitarists that like, you know, playing lead and rhythm. Because I think it's the pick that limits you. That's why you kind of get that. Like, you know, that's, that's nice. That's, that's, that's nice and all. But it's like, I, I kind of like think of like playing lead and rhythm. I'm, I, I don't disconnect the two. It's like a, a flow almost, and it's, I, I think a lot of the, the division you'll hear with playing the like rhythm and lead, it's like a chord followed by a, a lead line. Don't separate that. So instead of a, if you could kind of flow that together like a, I guess the best way to explain it on like a technical level is you're never actually strumming or playing the whole chord at one time. Um, you're, you've got to think in like triads and double stops continuously and combined with a single note. I'm not strumming the whole chord because I don't have the time to, to get to that, you know? Um, so I kind of like focus on just getting the triad or just a, that double stop of the top strings and in that same downstroke or the upstroke, go into the lead. So it's like a, or almost like with, within the middle of as uh, you're, you're hitting that chord. You can go into like the, the lead in the upstroke, keep the chord shape, you know, to. Instead of playing that, that lick like that. I'm never separating my strumming hand from rhythm and lead. It's always just like. It, it's a lot of muting. There's a lot of muting with the, my, my fretting hand and muting with my strumming hand. Like I'm just hitting that, I'm just getting this, this note out, but I'm hitting all the strings, but I'm kind of muting the top strings with my palm here. And, and muting these bottom strings with my index finger here. So my strum doesn't have to change and I can just, just get that one note along with, if I want to, add like a bar behind it. a lot of like the, the half notes or the half miss notes of the muting is what adds to your style of guitar playing because a lot of the harmonics that kind of end up with the half hit notes or the half muted notes it was, it was just a plucking sound adds to like each player's guitar style
so it's like I'm never separating my strumming hand when I'm playing lead and rhythm because I'm not really thinking of lead and rhythm as separate. I don't like... Even playing that, I'm still just kind of hitting all the strings all the way through. I'm not... It, of course, it's going to sound disconnected if, if you're playing your chord and then, of course, it sounds disconnected. Part of like having that lead and rhythm flow through is hitting all the strings. And muting at the same time. Like right now, I'm doing a lot of palm muting. But I'm like hitting all the strings. You can control how much of the chord you want to hear behind the lead with your mute. So. Could totally hold it down. Or I could like partially mute the bar behind the lead. But the G and E string will be slightly muted as much as I want or have it ring out completely. So that sound from going from muted and plucked to ring out is like a crucial part of like your style and your sound. it comes down to like muting and just keep your strumming hand going work on the technique of muting with your palm and your index of the bar and playing like lead lines with your your middle uh, ring and pinky it's, it's you can kind of get your your flow